In this tutorial, we will see an example of a basic speed up and slow down with Twixter and Autograph. We did a quick overview of the interface and getting started with our plugins in Autograph in the tutorial called Getting Started in Autograph Using Our Plugins. Please watch that tutorial first or refer to the documentation prior to watching this tutorial. You will be introduced to the interface and info to get you started. Let's start by making a new composition. Now we can import some footage. I add this camel footage and we can speed up and slow it down using Twixter. You will notice if you select the clip and check the properties that the frames per second of this clip is 30 FPS. We can check the composition and see that it's 24 FPS. We can change the composition to match the input clip, so we select 30 in this case. We can drag the camel footage into the composition. Now we can select the source clip and go to the modifiers pull down menu and either scroll down to or type Twixter. We select Twixter and can work in the timeline pane or the properties pane as we discussed in the getting started tutorial. I will work in the timeline pane. In this case we're going to slow down and speed up the footage. Since we'll be slowing down the footage we need to extend the clip. We can simply do that by zooming in the viewer to see the footage on the timeline by using the shortcut keys, Control, Alt, and left mouse button, or the mouse wheel. Now we can drag the right side of the clip on the timeline to extend it. Don't worry about it being exact, we can either extend it more or less later. We can leave the display on Twixter to output and choose the method that we want to use to change the speed. We can use speed percentage or frame number. In this case we'll use speed percentage. I can go to about frame 25 and make our first keyframe. We can start at real time so we enter 100% and select the diamond to make a keyframe. Now we can go to frame 75 and make another keyframe. We can make it 50%. So this is going to start at real time speed and then slow down. Now we want to speed things up. We could add another keyframe at 100 and make it 125%. We can hold that speed till 150. So we need another keyframe at 150 making it 125%. Now we can add another slowdown but make it a gradual slowdown. So at frame 180 we can set another keyframe and make it 60%. We can further refine the interpolation of our keyframes by selecting the speed percentage and selecting the graph mode. Here we can select a keyframe or multiple keyframes and change the interpolation. For example, smooth instead of linear, which will give us an ease in, ease out effect. Now we can go to the end of the clip and see where it starts to freeze frame and adjust the clip to end at the first frame of the freeze by just dragging the right side of the clip, the same way that we extended it before. We can leave the rest of the controls at their default settings. We can check the playback to see how it looks and now we want to render it out. We can go to the render manager now. With the plus icons you can choose which composition to render and add renders to the queue. You can edit the properties for the render such as location for output, or adding audio from the original clip if you want to export with audio. We do this by choosing the source clip again in the input file field at the render manager. You can start the render when ready. 